Facebook.com. I debated Jeannie Scott. She's the president of the National Center for Science Education in Berserkley, California. The National Center is a little bitty storefront building with five people in there. <clears throat> the National Center for Science Education. But I debated Jeannie Scott in a debate, and uh, she said, Dr. Hoven, there are 80 separate layers of coal in the Midwest. She's right. She said, if you look at the amount of coal in the world today, the entire biomass, all the plants of the world today, could not possibly be converted to that much fossil fuel. She's right again. There is so much coal in the world that if you took every tree and blade of grass and bush and squished it, you couldn't make all the coal. There are enormous volumes of coal in the earth. I said, Jeannie, you are right. She said, well, don't you see, Hoven, there had to be an enormous amount of time to lay down all the coal seams. Oh, no, 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 right there she's wrong. You see, she's looking at today's world and assuming that's how it's always been. The coal we find in the ground today is a result of that flood which buried the world before the flood when they had lots more trees. There's a coal mine.